Hey everybody, it is Wednesday, January 20th, 2021, and I'm so happy that you have chosen to spend your time here with us as we spend a little bit of time in reflection and in prayer. You are always welcome here. Now, we actually had a session meeting here this morning at St. Andrew, and I have to admit that I was a little distracted during it. Knowing that the inauguration was happening, I was worried about violence taking place as it did a few weeks back in our nation's capital. And so to open the meeting, we prayed, not only for our work in leading the church, but for peace. And thankfully, as of this recording of the video, there has been no violence, and I pray that it stays that way. Today, though, is a day of change in our country. As a new president takes over not only the office, but the title as well. And I know that there are some in our congregation who are not happy about this change, and others that are. But whether you like it or not, change is happening. You know, change can be hard, but I would argue that change is necessary. And I think that's especially true within our own lives and within the church itself. But yes, change can be hard. You know, it reminds me of a cartoon I saw a few years ago, and hopefully I can find it and put it on the screen for you, where a speaker looks out into a crowd and says, Who wants change? And everybody raises their hands. The speaker then continues who wants to change? The crowd is shown once again, but this time not one hand is raised. And then lastly, the speaker asks, who wants to lead the change? And humorously, there isn't one person even left in the crowd for that panel. The speaker stands alone. I think it speaks to a truth here. While most people say that they want things different or they want change, it's likely they'll acknowledge that they themselves don't really want to change. And they sure as heck don't want to lead it. But what if I told you that change is essential to who we are as Christians, as followers of Christ, Listen to these verses from chapter 3 of the letter to the Colossians. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above and not on things that are in earth, or on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. You have stripped off the old self with its practices and have clothed yourselves with the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge according to the image of its creator. In that renewal, there is no longer Greek and Jew circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave and free, but Christ is all in all. So we are called to strip off the old self and clothe ourselves with the new self. In other words, we are to change. It may hurt. It may be uncomfortable. But it is necessary. So how are you working to get rid of your old self? And how are you clothing yourself with a new self? In other words, how are you changing? Let's pray. Eternal God, grant us your guidance. 
protect the president, vice president, and all members of Congress. Empower us to serve the common good. Surround us with a vision that renounces violence and honors others' needs. We pray for our neighbors. Remember and heal the overlooked and injured. Comfort the families of those dead at the Capitol and patients who have succumbed to COVID-19 and other loved ones lost. Comfort those who have lost friends, jobs, or hope. Enable us to reject the ways we cling to self-centered position and power. Grant us courage. Give us strength to work together as one nation. Prod us to surrender any privilege that whispers that we are better than others. Inspire us to change and at every step to use our best gifts to make our country a place of liberty and justice for all. Amen. Thank you all again for joining us this Wednesday evening. We hope to see you back again either on Sunday morning online at 10 a.m. right here on our Facebook page or again next Wednesday for another time of reflection and prayer. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. See you soon, everybody.